We got Lincoln and Jeremiah, and we're trying to catch some white bass. They're not biting too good today, but it's a beautiful day. I want to talk to you about something called child training. We're child training him right now. Say, how you doing that? Because we're tying strings of fellowship. See, he won't ever be sassy or mean. Huh? I'm going to do something and just come right up. You start? Right here. Okay. Right here. Right. That's why you let it drop just when you get to the boat. Sometimes you're chasing it, you'll catch him like that. Uh, so he's been fishing since he was about two years old or younger. He's caught up to, what, two, three pound smallmouth bass, something like that? Yeah, he's caught some big ones. And uh, so we go fishing every chance we get. Now, the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. Uh, my wife and I wrote a book on that subject by that name, to train up a child, uh, 30 years ago or something. And millions of people have read it. Uh, we've sold over a million copies and had their lives changed, their kids' lives changed. I had kids come back to me and thank me for it. I've had, uh, I've had uh, the children of the children who were raised by it come back and thank me for it because of how it made their parents happy. It uh, caused them to quit being bitter, caused them to spend more time with their kids, just made them cheerful. And you see what trial training is really about, number one, is tying strings of fellowship. That is, if a kid respects you, likes you, values you, and needs you, for their very life and breath, if they just enjoy your presence because you look in their face and smile, you approve of them, you look at everything they do and make and you think it's great, and uh, you take them with you, you spend time with them, you tie those strings of fellowship, the kids do not want to break that fellowship. They do not want to do anything or say anything that would uh, damage that relationship. They, they thrive and live on that relationship. So there's all kinds of applications for that, but basically it just amounts to the children being the first thing in your life. You don't tell them to shut up. You don't tell them to be quiet. You seldom tell them to stop talking. You're just a kid, you know, you don't do that. If you're in a real serious conversation, you, you, you train them, they'll see and know that I can't talk to you now, they'll walk off. But otherwise, if I'm talking to an adult and they interrupt, I listen to what they've got to say. Now, after four or five times, I might say, okay, we're, we're talking here, so you, uh, uh, we're busy for a moment, so just wait a minute. But you never do it in a way that diminishes them as a person. Uh, you always value what they've got to say. What, what's on their mind? You listen to it. And if they make something, you look at it. Uh, if they want to do something, and you have the time, you help them. If you don't, you make the time. Why? Because we're training up children the way they should go, so when they're old, they will not depart from it. So I'm out here fishing, but Jeremiah, the older brother, and I, we are training up, without making any effort, we're training up this young man here to be smart and capable and a fisherman. <laughs> All right. I usually in the office and I make a longer video, but I, you know, I couldn't resist a beautiful day like this. So here we are. See you later.